Hi everyone, this is A.P. Singh. I welcome you all on my channel Medicos Marathi. Hope you all are happy and healthy. My dear friends, today we are going to decode some of the images for microbiology and this is our image decoding series or you can say image series number 4. Okay, in this series previously we decoded images for pathology. Okay, previous we have decoded what we have decoded for pathology. Ki. ठीक है आज हम किसकी कर रहे हैं माइक्रोबायोलॉजी की सो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स डोंट थिंक दैट दिस सीरीज सीरीज इज ओनली फॉर माइक्रोबायोलॉजी वी डिकोड वी कैन डिकोड इमेजेस ऑफ एनी सब्जेक्ट ओके एनी टॉपिक ओके सो इट्स फॉर ऑल सब्जेक्ट ऑल टॉपिक ओके व्हाट वी गेट बेस्ट वी विल डिकोड दैट टॉपिक और डिकोड दैट सब्जेक्ट ओके सो लेट्स सी आवर फर्स्ट इमेज बिफोर Starting over this image discussion, I want to request all those who are new to my channel, my dear friends, subscribe my channel and press on notification bell icon so that you can get updates for all important upcoming videos. Okay, so let's see first image. This image is of blood agar. Okay, what is this blood agar? Okay, so this particular image is for blood agar. What is next? Let's see. What do you think? This is also a blood agar, but here it is not a normal case. Here it is used, and what do you think? This trick is for what organism? Which organism is this uh, here uh, used with blood agar? Okay, so my dear friends, this is narrow zone of hemolysis. Okay, so this appearance which you are seeing on blood agar, this is narrow zone of hemolysis. And this is generally shown by Staphylococcus aureus. Okay, so this organism ka blood agar hai ye neurogen of hemolysis Staphylococcus aureus. So first image clear. Next, which agar is this? First question ye agar hi kaun sa hai? This agar is nutrient agar. Kaun sa agar hai? Nutrient agar. Next image dekho bhai. Next image mein kya hai? ये ऑर्गेनिज्म कौन सा है स्टेफाइलोकोकस ओरियस है ओके okay, ऑर्गेनिज्म कौन सा है स्टेफाइलोकोकस ओरियस एंड दिस अगार इज न्यूट्रिएंट अगार ओके न्यूट्रिएंट अगार एंड दिस अपीयरेंस इज गोल्डन येलो अपीयरेंस ओके ऑन न्यूट्रिएंट अगार ऑफ स्टेफाइलोकोकस ओरियस सो ऑर्गेनिज्म का पता चल गया अगार कौन सा है न्यूट्रिएंट अगार अपीयरेंस क्या है गोल्डन येलो गोल्डन येलो अपीयरेंस है किसकी वजह से भाई Staphylogenthin. Staphylogenthin. Due to this staphylogenthin, golden yellow appearance you can see here. Okay. So, what is next? What do you think? What this image is showing you? Okay. So, my dear friends, this image is also of Staphylococcus aureus. And in Staphylococcus aureus, we see an identical particular structure that is grape like cluster we see grape like cluster in staphylococcus aureus this image is zoomed here okay in this particular image you can see in this image that this image is of staphylococcus aureus and these are grape like structure present you can see here easily okay so these structure are grape like structure which are seen in Staphylococcus aureus. Okay, they are present as grape-like cluster. What is next image? What is this? What do you think? I give you a hint. This is an test. Okay, and this test will create a difference. Okay, two images. So, my dear friends, this is catalase test. Okay, and here this test is for Staphylococcus aureus. Okay. And these bubbles which are present here in this and in this image, these are showing positivity. Okay, these bubbles are showing that catalase test is positive. And in which case it is positive? Staphylococcus aureus. And in this case here you can say it is a normal case. Okay. Okay. And here the bubble are present. The presence of these bubbles is showing that the catalase test is positive. And if the catalase positive catalase test is positive, then the organism will be Staphylococcus aureus. Okay, this test is done for Staphylococcus aureus and many other organisms. Okay, let's see next. Next image. 
what do you think it is looking like something like chocolate so you are thinking absolutely correct this is chocolate agar okay this is chocolate agar let's see at image for chocolate agar okay what do you think which organism is here present in this chocolate agar okay so my dear friends this is chocolate agar and the organism is present that is nigeria gonorrhea which organism nigeria gonorrhea and the colonies on chocolate agar are pinkish brown okay and translucent you can see the translucency clearly and the brown clear okay you can see and except smooth colony you can see the smoothness of this colony okay so this agar here is chocolate agar the organism which is tested that is nigeria gonorrhea and it is showing us pinkish brown translucent smooth colony okay what is next image here it is an macon ki agar okay and generally if i tell when we use macon ki agar my dear friends we use macon ki agar for creating difference between two things okay what is that two things lactose fermenting colony and non lactose fermenting colony okay so for differentiating both these lactose fermenting and non lactose fermenting we use macon ki agar which agar macon ki agar so here you can see the lactose fermentes uh, fermenting colony are pink okay and non lactose fermenting colony are colorless okay so here you can see which colony are colorless and which have color okay so escherichia coli enterobacter aerogens both these and these are lactose fermenting colony okay so generally this is used for differentiating lactose fermenting organism and non lactose fermenting organism okay what is next here is a microscope which microscope do you think this is a light microscope okay this is light microscope and what you have to remember that is power of magnification generally you all know the eyepiece power that is 10x and here you can see the low power is 10x medium power is 40x and the high power is 100x if now i ask a one question i already made a video on magnification for microscope and now i want to ask a question that what is highest magnification power for light microscope 100x 40x 10x what do you think my dear friends if you are thinking that it is 100x 100x then you are wrong okay how you are wrong because 100x is high power you counted only for this objective lens okay these three are objective lens and you counted this only for objective lens but you remember that this 10x will always be included okay so 100 into 10 that is 1000x so highest magnification power for light to light microscope will be 1000x okay and what is this 100x power that is oil immersion okay that 100x high power is oil immersion objective lens and this is used generally for okay now another question when we use this oil immersion we use generally for knowing case of typhoid okay malaria in the cases of malaria for uh, knowing any in disease related to uh, platelets okay so for three things malaria typhoid uh, you can say you can also say it for uh, tuberculosis okay and uh, in the case of platelets okay so in these cases we use generally high power oil immersion oil immersion my oil immersion objective lens okay and the highest power is 1000 x okay what is next next image is of electron microscope okay this is electron microscope here you can see the electron throwing gun or you can say the electron ejecting gun is present here and from here you can see it is in viewing chamber and in this you can clearly see this whole diagram is opened here okay filament this is here the condenser lens okay and 
after here this is condensation aperture here the stage okay okay here is also mentioned objective lens objective aperture you can clearly correlate this diagram with microscope okay what is next image here is also a simplified image for electron microscope that what will happen here will be high beam okay high voltage then the electron gun will release the electrons and after that the first condenser lens okay then condenser aperture then second condenser lens okay then finally what will happen after moving through this pathway you will see the image at last okay here the electron beam will form and you will see the fluorescent uh, screen and camera is present here and here you can see the image by electron microscopy okay so electron microscopy done what is next what is next here you can see what is this i already uh, made a video on this image okay means i told about this organism which is present in this image and my dear friends this is a dark field microscopy okay this is an example of dark field microscopy and the organism is spirochetes okay organism is spirochetes okay and i also told about a stain okay in my one of video so if you want to know more about spirochete and more about these organisms then you must subscribe my channel okay because in future i will make another important videos and also in the past i already made video for spirochetes okay that which stain we will use which microscopy we will use okay so microscopy dark field pata chal gaya agar aapko pata karna hai stain to you have to watch my previous videos for that you have to subscribe my channel okay what is next next image what do you think what is this green light what is this my dear friends this is result of fluorescent microscopy kiska result hai fluorescent microscopy okay so examiner will not ask uh, uh, what are the parts of fluorescent microscopy what is this that he will give diagram okay this type of diagram and he will ask that uh, which organism is this or what is the result of or which microscope is used here okay in previous there was dark field here is fluorescent microscopy okay and one thing if i tell about fluorescent microscopy which will create a difference from other microscope that is dichrome mirror okay dichrome mirror is an important or different part of fluorescent microscopy dichrome mirror kya hai sabse alag hai is mirror mein इस माइक्रोस्कोप में फ्लोरोसेंट माइक्रोस्कोप में जो सबसे अलग फीचर है वो क्या है डाइक्रोम मिरर ओके सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इफ एन इट इज एन प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन व्हाई आई एम टेलिंग डाइक्रोम मिरर बिकॉज इट इज ऑलरेडी आस्क इन एग्जाम दैट हाउ यू विल डिसाइड दैट व्हिच माइक्रोस्कोपी इज दिस इफ देयर इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ डाइक्रोम मिरर दैट इज fluorescent microscopy okay and what is an important part for dark field microscopy dark field ke liye kya important hai wo hai dark field condenser okay wo kya hai dark field condenser that is dark field condenser and both these things okay dark field fluorescent microscopy i already told in my one of the video and that is video for microbiology basics in why in which i told for everything related to microscopy and if you want to watch that video for that you will also get link in description of this video okay so what is next so my dear friends this is all about our today's discussion okay hope you all like this okay if you feel that this is helpful then my dear friends you have to do one thing you have to share this video with your friends and then say them to subscribe to my channel and if till now till this time you are new to my channel then what you have to do you have to simply subscribe my channel and press on notification bell icon so that you can get updates for all important upcoming videos okay so thanks to everyone stay safe stay healthy